Hey everyone, Tyler here with Gilded Reviews. Kenshi is officially released, so I thought it was a good time to put out the 5 reasons why I think Kenshi is worth picking up. Featuring deep, well-designed mechanics, memorable encounters, and a massive world to explore, this sandbox title has everything it needs to satisfy those hardcore survival fans. Be warned, Kenshi will not be for everyone. The learning curve is fairly large, and taking the time to figure out the game will go a long way. If you are looking for a more comprehensive video on Kenshi, check out the review I did a few months ago. I will put a link in the cards and down in the description. This is something I started doing for some of the independent titles I have really enjoyed. The idea here is to make a short video highlighting some of the things that I love about this title. So if you guys enjoyed the video, throw me a thumbs up, check out some of my other content, or consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and get this list started. Up at number 5, we have Absolute Freedom. The developers over at Lo-Fi Games have managed to create a title where you pretty much do whatever you want. Now this is on an entirely different level than what you would typically see from this style of game. From building and running a city with fantastic RTS mechanics, to setting up your workers' individual AI, Kenshi gives you the tools to play the way you want. In fact, everything in the game seems to be built around this idea. You don't have a main storyline or missions you have to go do. You are just put into a sandbox with a pretty cool set of tools, NPCs, and mechanics, then are told to do whatever you want. There is so much to do, I couldn't begin to scratch the surface. Want to go treasure hunt? Go pick up a map at the local bar and head out. Want to set up a kill box and lure cannibals in for shooting practice? Go ahead. Feel like raiding a city, killing everyone and stealing what you can? You can do that too. I could go on for a while here, but I think you guys get the idea. You play the way you want, and there is nothing to tell you otherwise. Moving on, at number 4 we have the RPG Mechanics. This is another pretty broad area and covers the majority of things in the game. From the weapon and loot system to the leveling mechanics, it is all just very enjoyable. The main thing here is the level of depth. Everyone and everything including your limbs has its own stats. If your right arm breaks, you will need to bandage it before you can use it again. This extends to all aspects of Kenshi, giving you some truly deep RPG mechanics. These mechanics are well implemented. Leveling is entertaining and seems very realistic. For instance, instead of just fighting a training dummy to get stronger, you can carry a lot of iron ore and run around the world. Want to get better at fighting? Take the same philosophy as Goku and go get your ass kicked a few times. As a quick side note, and this isn't really an RPG mechanic, but it's still worth mentioning. Kenshi offers one of the better crafting systems I have seen in a game. There is a ton to craft. It works well and offers multiple stages of research to get through. Up at number 3 we have the developer Lo-Fi Games and the Kenshi community. I have been running into this a lot recently, especially with early access titles. The developers over at Lo-Fi Games have created a Discord with a ton of channels and people to chat with. There is an area for suggestions, bug reports, general media, and overall discussions. Not to mention, a good portion of the modding community also participates in the Discord, giving players a chance to recommend mods and ideas that help the overall game. Speaking of mods, let's just say they are fantastic, and sometimes necessary for new players. There is a massive selection already available, with more being released daily. If something is missing or bothering you in Kenshi, chances are there is a mod that will help you in one way or another. Moving on, at number 2 we have the Emergent Storytelling. This is something that has started to capture my attention recently, and a lot of games have begun adapting it into their basic gameplay structure. The idea is that there are so many unique and random things going on, that every time you play, something different happens, creating an unusually entertaining story for you while you play. The dynamic world Kenshi is built on affects this even further. If you decide to raise an army and wipe out a city, then that city will soon be overrun by a different faction. The entire game is built on little things like this, and it's a lot of fun. If you are interested in this style of gameplay, there is a mod called Reactive World that you might be interested in. Lastly, and the number one reason I recommend Kenshi is that it is extremely unique, and you won't find many other titles like it. I really can't say enough good things about this title. A big part of that is because it isn't like anything that I have ever played before. Yes, it does share elements and mechanics found in other games. The big difference though is Kenshi brings them all together, meshing them well in a fun to explore survival sandbox that truly stands on its own. Everything contributes to this, from the RPG and RTS mechanics to the level of depth shown through the statistics of everything available in the game. It truly is a one of a kind experience and is well worth the $30 asking price. Before we close this out, I wanted to talk about a few of the issues I have had with Kenshi. 
so you can decide if this title is right for you. First off, there are a few bugs that can cause some frustration. I mean, any game that has a scope this large is going to have some issues. The great thing is the developers are constantly addressing this and fixing the problems players are having. The other thing that could turn off new players has to do with the difficulty. Do not expect to come into Kenshi and win. Kenshi is a very difficult game, and learning all the different mechanics is going to take some time. This is more of a personal thing. If you enjoy difficult games, then pick up Kenshi right away. If not, then there are always mods to help make things easier. Just know that getting started can sometimes be frustrating, but the more you play, the better it gets. The difficulty is mostly caused by the learning curve, and once you figure things out, the game will get a lot easier. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. That wraps up my 5 reasons to pick up Kenshi. I really enjoyed this title and can't wait to see what the developer does next. As a side note, I am thinking of starting up my own Discord. If you are interested in something like this, where we can get people together to explore some multiplayer games, or just have a channel where people can chat about whatever, please let me know in the comments, and I will get going on it right away. Anyhow, thanks again, and I will see you next time.